हेलो स्टूडेंट आई एम डॉक्टर अजय कुमार सिन्हा प्रोफेसर ऑफ केमिस्ट्री टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस इम्पॉर्टेंट ट्रेंड्स एंड एनोमेलस बिहेवियर ऑफ कार्बन लास्ट क्लास आई हैव डिस्कस्ड केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ ग्रुप थर्टीन एलिमेंट्स नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस important trends and uh, anomalous behavior of carbon like uh, first member of other groups carbon also differs uh, from rest of members of its group it is due to its smaller size first higher electronegativity second third higher ionization enthalpy and fourth unavailability of d or y tails okay due to this due to these points uh, this uh, it differs from other members of 13 group like uh, first like first member of other other groups carbon also differs from rest of the members of its group and it is due to i told you four reason first due to its smaller size second due to higher electronegativity third due to higher ionization enthalpy and fourth due to unavailability of d or y tails in carbon only s and p orbitals are available for bonding and therefore it can accommodate only four pairs of electrons around it this would limit the maximum covalency to four whereas other members can expand their covalency due to the presence of d orbitals carbon also has a unique ability to form pi pi multiple bonds with itself and with other atoms of a small size and high electronegativity few examples of multiple bonding are carbon carbon double bond carbon carbon triple bond carbon oxygen double bond carbon sulfur double bond carbon nitrogen triple triple bond these are the multiple bonding multiple multiple bonding of carbon with uh, same atom or with other atom like oxygen sulfur and nitrogen heavier elements do not form pi pi bonds why because their atomic orbitals are too large and uh, diffuse to have effective overlapping carbon atom carbon at uh, carbon atoms uh, have the tendency to link with one another very important things i am going to tell carbon atoms uh, have the tendency to link with one another through covalent bonds to form chains and rings this property is called catenation property this is because carbon carbon bonds are very strong cc bonds are very strong down the group okay this is a because carbon carbon bonds are very strong down the group the size increases and electronegativity decreases and thereby tendency tendency to show catenation property decreases down the group catenation property decreases this can be clearly seen from bond enthalpy is values i will tell some values the order of catenation is uh, first maximum is with carbon 
and uh, after that silicon and after that germanium and steiner is almost equal means carbon is far far greater than catenation property of carbon is far far greater than silicon and silicon is we can say greater than germanium and germanium and steiner almost same means equal lead does not show catenation now i am telling you some uh, bond energy how bond is uh, strong then carbon carbon it's a uh, bond enthalpy kilo joule per mole i am telling you carbon carbon bond that is the 348 highest in uh, in, compar- in comparison to four second highest is silicon silicon 297 bond enthalpy third is germanium ge ge 260 and uh, last is stannous 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 sn sn 240 that's why carbon you can say catenation property of carbon it is a carbon has more catenation property than others due to property of uh, catenation and pi pi bond formation carbon is able to show allotropic forms carbon is a, has many compound complete chemistry is there organic chemistry due to carbon you can say special property unique property special uh, chemistry one branch is there organic chemistry due to the carbon correct it is and it has four valency maximum four valency and due to this catenation property it has many allotrope you might have heard the name of graphite graphite diamond fullerene fullerene is recent okay in 1985 fullerene was found then this are these are the you can say allotrope of carbon carbon is found in this form okay now i am i am telling about the allotropes of carbon carbon has many allotropes but popular two are popular graphite and diamond and fullerene is new one that is also allotrope of carbon there carbon 60 carbons are attached to each other 60 60 carbons are attached to each other they are making a, a special allotrope of carbon that also i will discuss now i am discussing allotrope of carbons carbon exhibits many allotropic forms both crystalline as well as amorphous amorphous means powder form diamond and graphite are two well known crystalline form of carbon here important thing is that diamond and graphite are well known crystalline form crystalline forms of carbon in 1985 third form of carbon carbon known as fullerene was discovered who have discovered then three scientist H H W Croto, first scientist. Second, E S Mali, and third, R F Cot. And for this, for this discovery, they were they were awarded the Nobel Prize in 1996. Now I am going to tell about the uh, this uh, diamond. <coughs> diamond. it has a crystalline lattice in diamond each carbon atom undergoes sp3 hybridization remember in diamond hybridization is carbon has sp3 hybridization and linked to four other carbon each carbon is linked to the four carbons each carbon is linked to the four carbons tetrahedral structure Okay, linked to four other carbon atoms by using 
hybridized or vitals sp3 hybridization i told you question is asked in tetrahedral fashion the carbon carbon bond length is remember always 154 picometer the structure extends in a space and produces a rigid three dimensional network it has three dimensional structure three d structure three dimensional network of carbon atoms and uh, other things uh, i am telling you that in this structure means in diamond structure uh, i will try to send a diamond structure uh, directionally is actually it is a covalent bonds all bonds are covalent are present throughout the lattice now complete network is joined by covalent bond it is very difficult to break extended covalent bonding very difficult to break extended covalent bonding very strong very strong therefore diamond is a hardest substance on the earth but here i want to tell you till date it is a hardest substance but now i can say harder than diamond harder than diamonds diamond is also well known okay it is known but till date hard uh, diamond is considered as hardest but real fact is that other substance is also found that is uh, harder than harder than diamond that is a uh, nano tube carbon nano tube this is not uh, higher classes you will study then here they are that carbon nano tube is harder than diamond but till date till date diamond is considered as hardest substance on the earth this i told you very important things it is used as an abrasive diamond is used as a abrasive for sharpening hard tools in making dyes means color and in the manufacture of tungsten tungsten filaments for electric light bulbs in electric light bulbs filament is there that is a tungsten filament okay then there also it is used okay <clears throat> now uh, one question i am telling you problem that is asked in examination diamond is covalent yet it has high melting point why covalent means it should be it should break soon okay ionic bond is stronger than covalent bond you know all the things then diamond question is asked problem is there diamond is covalent yet it has high melting point why i am now explaining now i am answering this question diamond has a three dimensional network involving a strong carbon carbon bonds which are very difficult to break and in turn has a high melting point cause many bonds are there carbon carbon many bonds are there complete network and uh, that's why it is difficult to break it and it has very high melting point due to three dimensional network structure or due to uh, three dimensional network involving a strong carbon carbon bonds which are very difficult to break and in turn has high melting point now i am discussing graphite 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 has a layered structure layer one layer after that second layer third layer fourth layer like that way and between the two layer between the two layer 
one electron will be there free electron that's why uh, this uh, graphite is soft and it is used as a electrode Ele- current can be passed through passed through graphite and graphite is so- is soft and in pencil in pencil that uh, graphite what is the pen inside the wood that is the carbon what telling carbon car electrop of carbon that is the graphite will be there that will be very soft that's why any time it it can break also and it scratches on the paper this that means you can write as a pencil in pencil graphite is used now i am telling details graphite has a layered structure i will i will try to send this structure also graphite has a layered structure layers are held by wonder wall forces weak forces and distance between two layer is 340 picometer 340 340 picometer each layer is composed of planar hexa hexagonal h e x a hexagonal rings of carbon atoms c c bond length c c bond length within the layer is 141.5 picometer two things two three things here you have to understand because question is <coughs> asked first <coughs> that between the layer wonderwall forces will work wonderwall forces will be there between the layer okay um, which layers are held by wonderwall forces first things and distance between the two layers is 340 picometer and third each layer is composed of planar hexagonal rings of carbon atoms fourth carbon carbon bond length within the layer within the layer is 141.5 picometer okay each carbon atom in hexagonal ring undergoes sp2 hybridization in diamond it is sp3 but in graphite it is sp2 sp2 distance uh, uh, hybridization <coughs> just one minute <coughs> no go hello <coughs> sorry for interruption someone has come hmm then i was uh, discussing about the graphite that uh, each carbon atom in hexagonal ring undergoes sp2 hybridization in diamond it was sp3 hybridization and uh, in uh, graphite it is a sp2 hybridization this is the main difference and makes three sigma bonds here again you have to understand each carbon atom in hexagonal ring undergoes sp2 hybridization and makes three sigma bond with three neighboring carbon atoms fourth electron forms a pi bond fourth electron forms a pi bond the electrons are delocalized 
many layers are there then many electrons will be there the electrons are delocalized over the whole sheet delocalized means it can move not fixed electrons are mobile electrons are mobile and uh, therefore graphite conducts electricity along along the sheet graphite clips easily between the layers graphite clips means breaks easily between the layers therefore it is very soft and slippery for this reason graphite is used as a dry lubricant in machine running at high temperature where oil cannot be used as a lubricant this i have discussed about graphite now i am going to discuss about fullerens third allotrope of carbon fullerens it is new okay fullerens are made by heating heating of graphite in an electric arc in the presence of inert gases such as helium or argon helium or argon the the sooty material means uh, when uh, uh, this will burn uh, this uh, graphite when graphite will burn then fume will come in that fume in from that fume actually fullerens is made okay fullerens are made by heating of graphite in an electric arc in the presence of inert gases such as helium or argon the sooty material formed by condensation of vaporization vaporized c11 c11 a small molecules c11 means a, a small molecules consist of mainly c60 C sixty with a smaller quantity of C seventy and traces of fullerens and traces of fullerens consisting of even even number of carbon atoms up to three fifty or above means here uh, this uh, the sooty material. sooty materials means from the fumes what was coming that is sooty material the sooty materials formed by condensation of vaporized c11 small molecules consist of their c11 molecules will be there mass number ma, that is the mass number is c11 small molecules consist of c60 means there will be cluster of 60 atoms of carbon cluster of 60 atoms of carbon with a smaller quantity of in that also cluster of 70 carbon atoms will be also there many are there c60 c70 c60 76 c78 like that way a cluster of carbon atoms will be there all will be mixed and uh, trace a uh, trace of fullerens consisting of even a number of carbon atoms up to 350 or above also that in sooty flame see how many uh, different type of uh, uh, this uh, cluster of molecules are found actually this is called fullerens these are called uh, fullerens i told you up to the 350 or above uh, is found there fullerens are the only pure form of carbon again important point fullerens are the only pure form of carbon because they have a smooth structure without having 
डैंगलिंग बॉन्ड्स फुलडनसार केज लाइक मोलकुल्स फुलडनसार केज लाइक मोलकुल्स सी सिक्सटी सी सिक्सटी मोलकुल्स हैज ए सेप लाइक ए सॉक्सर बॉल सॉक्सर बॉल एंड कॉल्ड बक मिनिस्टर फुलरेंस बक मिनिस्टर फुलरेंस के दिस बॉल बक्की बॉल ऑल्सो कॉल्ड बक्की बॉल एंड दिस जस्ट लाइक ए स्मॉल बॉल सक्सर सक्सर बॉल एंड कॉल्ड बक मिनिस्टर फुलरेंस आई विल ट्राई टू सेंड द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ फुलरेंस ऑल्सो इट कंटेंस ट्वेंटी सिक्स नॉट रे दिस थिंग इट कंसिस्ट ट्वेंटी सिक्स मेंबर्ड रिंग जस्ट लाइक ए बेंजीन इट हैज सिक्स मेंबर सिक्स मेंबर्ड रिंग सिक्स कार्बन आइटम विल बी देयर इन बेंजीन लाइक दैट वे ट्वेंटी विल बी देयर इट कंसिस्ट ट्वेंटी सिक्स मेंबर रिंग एंड ट्वेल्व फाइव मेंबर रिंग्स ए सिक्स मेंबर्ड रिंग इज फ्यूज विथ सिक्स और फाइव मेंबर रिंग्स बट ए बट ए फाइव मेंबर रिंग्स कैन ओनली फ्यूज विथ सिक्स मेंबर रिंग्स फाइव मेंबर रिंग्स कैन कैन यू कैन से दे विल अटैच और कैन फ्यूज ओनली विथ ओनली विथ सिक्स मेंबर रिंग्स बट सिक्स मेंबर कैन फ्यूज विथ सिक्स ऑल्सो फाइव ऑल्सो फाइव मेंबर रिंग फाइव मेंबर रिंग्स ऑल द कार्बन आइटम्स आर इक्वल ऑल द कार्बन आइटम्स आर इक्वल एंड दे अंडर गो एस पी टू हाइब्रिडाइजेशन हेयर अगेन इट इज एस पी टू हाइब्रिडाइजेशन ऑल द कार्बन आइटम्स आर इक्वल एंड अंडर गो एस पी टू हाइब्रिडाइजेशन इन फुलड्रेंस ऑल्सो एस पी टू हाइब्रेशन इज देयर इच कार्बन आइटम फॉर्म्स थ्री सिग्मा बॉन्ड विथ विथ अदर थ्री कार्बन आइटम्स द रिमेनिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन एट इच कार्बन इज डी लोकलाइज जस्ट लाइक ए ग्रेफाइट इट इज जस्ट लाइक ए ग्रेफाइट ओनली कार्बन इज ए डी लोकलाइज ओके जैसे इन इच कार्बन वन इलेक्ट्रॉन इज देर दैट इज ए डी लोकलाइज डी लोकलाइज डी लोकलाइज इन मोलकुल इन मोलकुलर आर वाइटल्स विच इन टर्न गिव एरोमेटिक करेक्टर टू मोलकुल दिस डी लोकलाइज इलेक्ट्रॉन इन मोलकुलर आर वाइटल विच इन टर्न गिव एरोमेटिक करेक्टर टू मोलकुल्स दिस this ball shaped molecules this ball shaped just like a ball football you have seen like that way this ball shaped molecules has 60 60 vertices 60 vertices and each one is occupied by one carbon atom and it also contains both single and double bonds सिंगल एंड डबल बॉन्ड्स विथ सी कार्बन कार्बन डिस्टेंस ऑफ वन फोर थ्री पॉइंट फाइव पिकोमीटर एंड वन थर्टी एट पॉइंट थ्री पिकोमीटर हे आर टू डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ बॉन्ड्स आई टोल्ड यू डबल बॉन्ड एंड सिंगल बॉन्ड देन सिंगल बॉन्ड सिंगल बॉन्ड विल बी लिटिल लॉन्ग वन फोर्टी थ्री पॉइंट फाइव and double bond will be a smaller because it is strong bond that's why that is its bond length is 138.3 picometer respectively means a, a strong double bond has a less less you can say length bond length single bond because it is weak then it will be um, length will be more then single bond length is 143.5 picometer and double bond वन थर्टी एट पॉइंट थ्री पिकोमीटर रेस्पेक्टिवली हेयर यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड दैट इन डायमंड 
टेट्रा वायलेंट वॉज देयर ऑल कार्बन वेयर अटैच्ड विथ को वायलेंट बॉन्ड ओनली को वायलेंट बॉन्ड वॉज देयर सिंगल बॉन्ड बट नाउ हेयर दैट थ्री बाउंड्स आर देयर थ्री बाउंड्स आई टोल्ड यू आर देयर थ्री सिग्मा बॉन्ड सिग्मा बॉन्ड इज सिग्मा बॉन्ड इज स्ट्रांगर देन कोवेलेंट बॉन्ड ओके इच कार्बन एटम्स फॉर्म्स थ्री सिग्मा बॉन्ड्स विथ अदर थ्री कार्बन एटम्स दैट्स वाई इट इज बिकमिंग ए स्ट्रांग एंड अदर अदर रीजन दैट नाउ इट इज इट इज मेकिंग डबल बॉन्ड ऑल्सो डबल बॉन्ड ऑल्सो दैन सिंगल एंड डब दैट इज द हेयर बॉन्ड इज दिस थिंग से सिग्मा बॉन्ड है थ्री सिग्मा बॉन्ड एंड एंड डबल बॉन्ड इज ऑल्सो देयर देन नाउ दिस टू टाइप ऑफ बॉन्ड्स आर फाउंड हेयर एंड एस्फेरिकल फुलड्रेंस दिस इज एस्फेरिकल शेप देन एस्फेरिकल फुलड्रेंस आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड बक्की बॉल्स ओके नाउ इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू नो दैट ग्रेफाइट इज थर्मोडाइनमिकली मोस्ट स्टेबल एलेक्ट्रॉप ऑफ कार्बन हे आई शुड नो ग्रेफाइट इज ए थर्मोडाइनमिकली मोस्ट स्टेबल एलेक्ट्रॉप ऑफ कार्बन एंड देयर फोर दिस डेल्टा एच डेल्टा एच मीन्स फॉर्मेशन हीट ऑफ फॉर्मेशन डेल्टा एच डेल्टा एच मीन्स हीट ऑफ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ ग्रेफाइट इज टेकन एज ए जीरो ओके दिस स्टेबल एलेक्ट्रॉप फॉर्म स्टैंडर्ड देर कंसिडरिंग इज ए स्टैंडर्ड कार्बन देर फॉर डेल्टा एच स्टैंडर्ड डेल्टा एच एफ ऑफ ग्रेफाइट इज टेकन एज ए जीरो एज ए स्टैंडर्ड डेल्टा एच एफ वैल्यू ऑफ डायमंड एंड फुलड्रेंस मीन्स सी सिक्सटी जनरली सी सिक्सटी आर कॉल्ड फुलड्रेंस अदर अदर आर ऑल्सो देयर आई टोल्ड यू सी सेवेंटी सिक्स सी सेवेंटी एट सी सेवेंटी फोर इट इज ऑल्सो देयर बट सी सिक्सटी क्लस्टर क्लस्टर ऑफ सिक्सटी आइटम्स इन एस्पेरिकल फॉर्म दैट इज कॉल्ड फुल रेंस देन सी सिक्सटी आर वन पॉइंट नाइन जीरो हेयर आई एम टेलिंग यू दैट ग्रेफाइट आज कंसिडर एज ए जीरो डेल्टा एच डेल्टा एच वैल्यूज एंड डायमंड इन कंपेरिजन टू दिस डायमंड एंड फुल रेंस देन दिस इज दिस इज वन पॉइंट नाइन जीरो दिस इज फॉर डायमंड एंड फॉर फुल रेंस थर्टी एट पॉइंट वन किलो जॉल पर मोल दैट वाई नाउ यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड ओनली हेयर वाई फुल रेंस इज हार्डर दैन डायमंड दैन नाउ यू कैन सी इट्स वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग डायमंड डायमंड डेल्टा एच वैल्यू डेल्टा एच वैल्यू हीट ऑफ फॉर्मेशन एफ दे एफ फॉर डायमंड इज वन पॉइंट नाइन जीरो वन पॉइंट नाइन जीरो एंड फॉर फुल रेंस थर्टी एट पॉइंट वन किलो जॉल पर मोल रेस्पेक्टिवली दे नाउ यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड हार्डनेस ऑफ फुल रेंस अदर फॉर्म्स ऑफ एलिमेंटल कार्बन लाइक कार्बन ब्लैक अगेन आई एम टेलिंग यू मेनी यू कैन से थ्री फोर थिंग्स आई एम टेलिंग यू ऑल आर इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर एग्जामिनेशन दिस एंड केयरफुली अदर फॉर्म्स ऑफ एलिमेंटल कार्बन लाइक कार्बन ब्लैक फर्स्ट थिंग्स कोक सेकेंड थिंग्स चारकोल थर्ड थिंग्स आर ऑल इम्प्योर फॉर्म्स ऑफ ग्रेफाइट ओनली फुलड्रेंस इज प्योर फॉर्म ऑफ ग्रेफाइ ग्रेफाइट ओके एंड मोस्ट एस्टेबल देन हेयर दिस यू शुड नो दैट दीज आर द इम्प्योर दीज थ्री आर इम्प्योर कार्बन ब्लैक सेकेंड कोक थर्ड चारकोल आर ऑल इम्प्योर फॉर्म्स ऑफ ग्रेफा ग्रेफाइट और फुल रेंस कार्बन ब्लैक वॉट इज द कार्बन ब्लैक कार्बन ब्लैक इज ऑप्टेंड बाई बर्निंग 
हाइड्रोकार्बन कंपाउंड्स ऑफ कार्बन एंड हाइड्रोजन कार्बन ब्लैक इज ऑप्टेन बाई बर्निंग हाइड्रोकार्बन इन ए लिमिटेड सप्लाई ऑफ एयर एंड चारकोल चारकोल एंड कोक बोथ चारकोल एंड कोक आर ओपटेंड बाई हीटिंग वुड और कोल रेस्पेक्टिवली एट टेम्परेचर एट ए हाई टेम्परेचर एट हाई टेम्परेचर इन द अबसेंस ऑफ एयर दिस इज द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग्स बोथ चारकोल एंड कोक आर ओपटेंड बाई हीटिंग वुड और कोल respectively at high temperature in the absence of air and carbon black it is obtained by burning hydrocarbon in a limited supply of air now i am going to tell uses of carbon graphite fibers embedded in a plastic plastic material form high strength again you listen graphite fibers fibers are just like a thread graphite fibers when it is mixed with plastic material means embedded e m b e d e d e m b e d e d e d embedded in plastic material form high strength light weight composites after mixing it is called composites hmm yeah. then it will be light weight also but high strength the composites are used in products such as tennis rackets in tennis rackets this composite is used means graphite fibers mixed with plastic material that is called composites they are very light weight and high strength the composites are used in products such as tennis rackets fishing rods air crafts and canoes canoes c a n o e s canoes being a good being a good conductor graphite is used for electrodes in batteries in batteries electrodes are required there graphite is used and industrial electrolysis electrolysis process already you know there electrodes are required there it is used crucible crucible in lab you have seen that for the heating purpose a small a small utensils then that is all crucibles crucibles made from graphites are inert to dilute acid and alkali is no effect of acid and alkali crucible not react with dilute acid and alkali being highly porous this graphites are highly porous being highly porous activated charcoal activated charcoal is used in adsorbing poisonous gases it will absorb poisonous gases also used in used in water filter in house you have seen candle na no? filter with that filter filter then there in a filter also black things you might have seen that is for absorption purpose then it is used in filter also it is also used in water filter to remove organic contaminated and in air conditioning system also it is used to control odor odor smell right it will absorb in air conditioning also it is used and in air conditioning system to control odor carbon black is used as black pigment carbon black is used as black pigment in black ink and as a filler in automobile tires coke where coke is used then coke is used, used as a fuel coke is used as a fuel and largely as a reducing agent in metallurgy diamond is a precious stone already you know diamond is a precious stone and used in jewelry and it is measured in 
carrots carrot you know you might have heard jewelry shop they will use the term carrot 5 carrot 10 carrot 12 carrot then 1 carrot means 200 mg remember important things okay uh, one carrot means 200 mg that's why if you will purchase any jewelry then they will ask or a stone a stone then they will weigh in carrot they will tell it is a 10 carrot 12 carrot 8 carrot carrot 6 carrot then one carrot means 200 mg today i am stopping only here again uh, i will next class we will meet and will discuss some important compounds of carbon and silicons thank you